Good morning, Geodians. This is Mike Horton, project creator of the GeoNet Network. Today, I'm going to give a quick recap of the Consumer Electronics Show, CES 2025, and a bit of GeoNet Foundation news. CES 2025 is the world's largest technology show, and this year, of course, the topic was AI. Now, being that CES 2025 is kind of a gadget-oriented show, physical AI was on full display there. CES uh, also had an incredible keynote led by Jensen Huang, CEO of NVIDIA. Now, for those that don't remember, NVIDIA is now the world's most valuable company as they are seen as the foundational layer of AI and a $3.6 trillion market cap. So because it's a gadget show, you see everything from robo-taxis to flying cars to the future construction equipment to robots for your home, pool cleaning robots, robotic mowers, vacuum cleaners, and even girlfriend robots. Now, my favorite type of robot in this robot category is actually robotic dogs. And robotic dogs, while they may first seem like they are toys, they are actually super powerful tools. We had on display at the GeoNet booth Lambo, our Unitree robotic dog that we're using for development, in particular development of indoor-outdoor seamless navigation. And we want to make that dog a platform for not only being able to precisely navigate the world, but also interact with the world. So we hope to interact with some of these agentic AI projects to make this dog uh, really a great companion and a useful tool in all kinds of contexts. Moving on to business announcements, uh, at CES there were two business announcements involving GeoNet. The first was actually a press release done by Septentrio selecting uh, GeoNet to be in their agnostic correction program. Now this is where Septentrio recommends a group of different providers of RTK networks to its customers and tries to help kind of match make its customers with RTK networks. So this is a great way for us to sort of funnel in new leads to the network that will in turn buy back and burn tokens through their data usage. Septentrio is a world famous company actually in GNSS modules, one of the very first to introduce triple frequency modules and very well known for their GNSS interference and spoofing detection. This is something that I personally witnessed while testing Septentrio modules at White Sands Missile Range um, with Anello Photonics. This was a test held a couple of years ago called NavFest, and I've published a blog on Medium about it. But it is true that the Septentrio module really deals with interference and spoofing better than other commercial receivers. Second big business announcement for GeoNet was a partnership and integration of the GeoNet service into the Bad Elf family of receivers. Now, Bad Elf makes some really cool, easy to use survey tools that are so easy to use, a lot of non surveyors use them. They're quite popular in the Esri and GIS community. Um, these are folks that are doing all kinds of different uh, types of data collection outdoors and want that high precision. In general, RTK can be a bit tricky to use, and so what's really cool about this is this will bundle with their hardware and provide five years of access up front. So really, once that hardware is purchased by Bad Elf's end-user customer, they won't ever have to think about RTK again. They'll just enjoy the precision. At our booth, we were able to collect 165 qualified business leads, so this is all super great stuff. We've even had some of the folks from CES now in turn come back and visit us here at the GeoNet offices in Santa Clara and um, get some good business going. In particular, I think the GeoPulse um, was really a big highlight for us at the CES show. A lot of interest in fleet monitoring type of applications, integration onto new types of smaller vehicles where RTK wasn't possible in the past. We are really excited to also share that the GeoPulse is now shipping and that um, the Android and iOS apps are done. Now, we haven't put them onto the Play or uh, App Store yet, but they are available through Test Flight and as an APK download. We're going to get some good feedback from early users of that, see what else we can in, uh, incorporate into it, and then we'll put those things into the infamous walled gardens that uh, Apple and Google have, so it make it a little easier for folks to use. Now, with that, that's kind of our wrap for this week. Next week, I'm going to kind of dive into the top five physical AI companies and how Deepin will disrupt those businesses. And, and I really hope you guys enjoy the quick news break here. Like and subscribe. There will be giveaways and airdrops in future editions. So with that, happy mining and cheers to y'all. Geonet. Mind the sky.